Good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday, April 4th, 2024. We've got some green coming in today. Not too surprised about that, considering the last three to four trading days. S&P up 36. NASDAQ up 167. And Dow is up 242. So hopefully things will just kind of level out. End of yesterday, I was super frustrated. Probably the most frustrated I've been in a while. All started with that uh, midday just drop in this slippage that I had. And then I had a loser and power hour and by then i was like with i was done with those sharp drops and i think what makes it even worse is it just immediately bounces right back up so i was and i i was green from from what for my tlc trades but um in my main account but my other account was violently red because of the 6k slippage that should have been about a, probably a $2,800 loss. It was a $6,000 loss. I had the trailing stop at nine bucks and it got filled at 1195. I couldn't believe it. So I had a bad, I was in a bad mood from there that point on. <laughs> but yesterday, there's the bell. We had, Several opportunities for uh, Mighty 90s and Volume Runners. A couple of Volume Runners, a couple of Mighty 90s. So hopefully, we get some more today. A lot of green on the board. And then another thing about yesterday is I had that NDX trade on, which I had completely written off because price had pushed so far up and it was out. It was uh, out of bounds. Then because of the big drop during power hour, it came back in and it was sitting at where it was going to be max profit. And then the last, I don't know, 15 minutes, it bounced, it bounced right back up. So just had some tough luck yesterday. Get my NDX trade on here.
NASDAQ up 182. Meta pushing up. Last stock's pushing up. That's coming down a little bit, though. VIX down two and a third. Build on my NDX trade at four dollars and fifty eight cents. And the X pushing up a little bit. Getting our second bar. Look like uh, ES futures hit all time highs. Look for some big volume here for a volume runner. Not seeing much volume coming in right now. Volume seems to be pretty light. Seems to be pretty light. Oh, uh, well, squares. 
Square may get there. It's a little iffy, but. It looks pretty promising at the moment. Don't think it's going to get there, though, and price doesn't look good. So no, no volume runners. We will wait. Starting a third bar here. I was pleasantly surprised yesterday with our number of opportunities. Looking for a bar bigger than the previous, same direction. Yeah, I was noticing that too, Chris. Like volume has been really low. Maybe that will be a good thing for later in the day.
you have some, sometimes you got to be patient on these because you just can't. I mean, it's it's truly mechanical. You're just not going to force anything. Oh, Mr. Boeing. Yeah, it's getting up there. I'd say it's going to get there. Got one minute left anyway. We'll see. Not really seeing any others in this third bar. Yeah, not not interest, interested in Boeing based on that price action. So you can see kind of here, like look at NVIDIA, which is we're just stair stepping down in volume. So if you're new, like that's just doesn't give us any of these strategies to trade when we just stair step down like that. Dark Avenger, MU short. What strategy? Is anybody that's new that is listening is gonna want to know why short? And so which strategy would we be using here? Definitely not a mighty 90 or a volume runner. No, it's nothing. Tesla. Tesla can convert in a volume runner. What do you mean by I'm not I'm not sure I understand the LPR. Tesla can convert in a volume runner. I don't understand the question. Stock's coming down now. Oh, not much volume right now. I don't have Orion. I'm just using Thinkorswim. Um, but Microsoft? Yeah, second volume bars. Nothing. Yeah, you can see here, NVIDIA, again, just stair-stepping down. That doesn't leave us with many options. Until maybe we get into, uh, you know, so continuation runners here that I usually, you know, get into those after the first 30 minutes or so, 20, 30 minutes.
There's a lot of stocks going down hard. Dark Avenger, NVIDIA, Netflix. So Dark Avenger, were you wanting me just to just to try them you short today? Just because it was long yesterday. Is that, is that is that what you're asking? You'd be there long enough, Dark Avenger. You know, we don't just try something. I don't want new people to like think we're just out here willy nilly and things. Like, we trade strategies and you gotta be criteria for it. So, don't give people the, the perception that we're just, hey, I was long yesterday. So, let's go short today. Like, we don't do that if you're new. AMD. Uh, Chris, it just depends what time I get off of here, really. It's just hard to do both. So, you know, I'll be off earlier if we don't have many setups. Yeah, AMD didn't quite get there. Yeah, the thing about MU is not quite enough volume separation on those. It is a little bit bigger, but not quite enough separation for me. <laughs> Tell you what, Meta's holding up. So not quite sure what to make of this market right now. <clears throat> Indices are pretty much in chop mode. Things coming down a little bit now. <clears throat> NASDAQ dropping. You see again, Nvidia just <laughs> stairs stepping down.
Yeah, see, so you, you want to get in right up here at the top. Tesla's options are getting small. I'm not used to seeing that. I would trade the 165. No, no, no. Take that back. Dang. The 172.5 puts. See if I can get a push up. Goog, potential mighty mighty ninety long. Goog. So Tesla, forget it. We'll go to Goog. And the 152.5 calls. Let's see if I can get filled at two bucks. 205. Two bucks. Go back to two bucks. I don't know if it's going to come down anymore. Yeah, give me one more good flush here. Let's go to 195. Nah, maybe not. I get greedy here. I'm going to jump in. Go to two bucks. That's my original. That's the one fifty two point five calls. You definitely can get a better fill than me. Yeah, not a good fill for me. There, I almost got long meta because it was holding up. I was tempted. Got an order in, put an order in here at uh, 220 to close half my Goog in case it pops up, but it looks like it wants to keep pushing down, which means I may add to it, which I've been known to do. I always target, you know, if it goes 10% lower. <laughs> which would be a buck 80 here is where I would normally get in. If I was to add, it just kind of depends on how far it's moving. Dow up 98, NASDAQ up 149, S&P up 33. NASDAQ is the strongest. I'll be looking for two consecutive green bars in Goog. Chris, you certainly should have uh, gotten out of half, right? You got filled at a buck 90? Two ten would be ten percent. Yep. Good for you guys. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, I'm kind of hoping to get filled here. Filled at 220. Get out of half. We'll get out of another at 240. What else we got going on? Tesla kind of really, I really wanted that mighty 90 short. What did not happen? Looks like Meta maybe touched all time highs. Is that right? Goo just gave us one green bar. Let's see if it can give us one more. Yeah, Tesla, one red bar. Starting on the second. So good push up and goog. Yeah, Tesla Mighty 90 would have been sweet. I knew it. Yeah, it has. Yeah, that's why I wanted to get short on it. Tesla Mighty 90s usually work pretty darn good. Had a lot of nice winning. A lot of nice winning uh, Tesla Mighty 90s over the years. Goog. Looking red at the moment. So, if, I mean, if you're new and you want to take a look at a good mighty 90, a pretty good one, I'd say, above average. You can look at Tesla, and you can see how there's a definite separation in volume, and then it made one more push up. And at the top of that second push up is where you, know, you want to try to, it's your target to get filled. Or, you know, your target, if it didn't push up, would be the top of that bigger volume bar that's bigger than the previous one. <laughs> Many, not many other options here. Goog's trying to give us a second green bar. <laughs> Range is pretty tight in Goog.
Definitely experiencing a little bit of chop here out of the gates. Vic's down below 14. Doesn't look like it wants to give us a second green bar yet. What else we got? I don't like being in trades for very long with one DTE. Sometimes theta can start decaying on you. Let me switch out Amazon. Three screens worth of charts. Huh? It's kind of holding on, holding on right now. No, Piero taking profits. Not many other choices here today. Probably would be a good time to put on a TLC trade. See, some have already done that. It's good. Goog is just falling asleep. Good coming down now. Uh, DG, yeah. So in the trade plans is my presentation. And there is a, a prerequisite I have to watching that. I would watch the uh, zero DTE, the first zero DTE course, and make sure you understand how to put on an OCO order, which is in that course. So, yeah, start with a zero DTE. Iron Condor, and then move to to mine. That's in the trade plans.
Prices, man, price ain't moving at all. A lot of opportunities yesterday, not many today. See what premiums like, man. Premium is no bueno for the TLC trades. Yeah, premium is no bueno. Man, I don't even know if I want to risk it. That is a tight iron condor. You know, Jug is kind of just sitting there. P is looking at 5260, 52, Yeah, I mean, how much premium would that give you? If it gives you over five bucks, probably wouldn't be bad. Luga trying to push back up for us. I would maybe do the fifty two sixties, fifty two forties. I'm gonna do that one. A little room to the upside. Goog trying to give us a decent green bar here. Bounce coming back down. Beginning to not like price action either.
All right, now let's get going, Goog. Yeah, yeah, I did. Um, let me type it in here. Build at 240. To close a quarter of my Goog. And that is why you follow the rules. Follow the rules, people. That's one bar. Consecutive. I'd get out of another 260. My own hit me. Yeah, so close. It's getting out of another. Build at two sixty. So hopefully this is our second green bar in Goog. Don't turn red on us, darn it. Yeah, get back up there. It was been a while since I've seen S SPX just come out this flat in terms of movement. Not many options today for uh, these trades. It's kind of that way when price is stagnant. So I'm going to be getting out of my Goog here and then going to jump off and focus on my other trades. Looks like Goog might give us a second bar. Come on, push up, Goog, push up. Let's turn it into a nice winner. About a minute, 15 seconds. So we'd like to see it push. And AMD staying weak. All right, going to close my Goog. Well, I guess I got a minute left. Let's wait. Wait towards the end of this minute and see what happens.
That is trying to push back up. DKNG getting a big volume bar for anybody who wants a smaller stock to trade. Things coming down a bit. NASDAQ through lows of day, really. Huh. Let's see if it wants to bounce. S&P coming down to about close to where it opened. Oh, man. Is that a, is that a green bar? Shows it as a red bar. All right, closing my goog. Just going to take the profits. Go to 245. All right, folks, I will see everybody at Power Hour today. Have a good one. Peace.